Hi, this is Ryan from Platinum Loops, and today we're going to be using Ableton Live's vocoder to vocode some vocal loops. So let's just get started. I've got an Ableton session open, and um, let me find a vocal loop to start with. I'm going to use one from the Hip Hop Vocals Volume 1 sample pack. I found this one earlier. Let's take a listen. I'm just going to drag it in. I do it big, I do it big. They try to slow me down, yeah, they hating on the kid. Okay, so that sounds good. Um, so the way that vocoding works in Ableton is you put the vocoder uh, audio effect from the audio effects folder on top of the track that you want to vocode. So I want to vocode the vocal, so I'm going to put it on the vocal track. So the default setting for the vocoder has a uh, white noise as the carrier signal. So let's just take a listen and hear how that sounds. It sounds kind of crazy because what it's it's using white noise as a carrier signal and as a result you get all the kind of timbre of white noise with the articulation of the vocal as the modulator signal. So I, to get those kind of classic vocoder sounds that everyone's familiar with, we're going to need to bring a synthesizer in the mix. So I'm going to make a new track called Analog. Just an analog soft synth. And I'll use uh, this lead, bright saw lead as the patch. Let's hear what that sounds like. Okay, just this classic saw wave synth lead. So the first thing you want to do to set this up is set the audio output of the synth to the vocal track. And then I'm going to go to the vocoder and route the carrier signal as external and the synth that we just made. So now when I hit play on the sequencer, on Ableton's master sequencer, and I play the synthesizer, we should hear the vocal modulating that synth sound. So let's listen. So that's cool. When we play the synth, we get the vocal coming through it. And I'm gonna change the synth to polyphonic real quick and do play some chords. So that's really cool, right? That's just really easy way to get classic vocoder sounds. So um I'm gonna just record a quick loop and uh, of MIDI information so we can play with the parameters on the vocoders. One moment here. First of all, we have this e this big 20-band uh, EQ. You can set the different bands right now. It's a 20-band EQ. We can draw in the kind of uh, EQ curve that we want to hear on the vocoded signal, which is kind of nice. You can cut out some lows, cut out the highs. You just whatever you need. Also, of course, with the dry wet knobs, we can hear the original signal. I do it big. I do it big. And mix it in. In this case, it sounds kind of weird because uh, the signal's in a different key. I vocoded in A minor and it's in A sharp major. But uh, you could vocode it the way that the melody was actually sung and kind of echo it with a vocoder and then mix it in. Also, we have this formant knob, which allows us to pitch stretch formants up or down, and get some really nice effects. Okay. 
Also, it's sometimes nice to use the enhance button here uh, to bring out some clarity. Well, I hope that was helpful, and as always, all of the loops used in this tutorial are available at PlatinumLoops.com. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at YouTube.com slash PlatinumLoops, and let us know what other type of tutorial videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks so much. Take care.